Good afternoon, friends. I hope you're well. Today, we're going to do a tutorial on how to launch your own BSC token. So on Binance Smart Chain, we're going to be launching a token, adding liquidity, and then we're going to make sure everything's good. And then we can make changes to the contract as well, which we'll show you. So everything's going to be step by step. Pretty much it's going to cost about 50 cents to deploy the contract. And then you'll just add your own LP. I'm also going to show you their new infinity pool which will allow you to earn fees as well. You can use the V2, but we'll touch on that. So go to welaunchit.org, connect your wallet. So we're going to use MetaMask and then we're on BSC. So make sure you are on BSC and then you can do your contract. We're going to call this frog and our single symbol is going to be frog as well. Now you put in your supply, you can do any supply you want. It's up to you. Now I'm going to take my wallet here and we're going to use it as the market wallet. You can do a different wallet for the dev tax. You can do no dev tax. It's up to you. So for this one, I'm just going to input the dev tax. Now I want a 5% marketing. I want a 1% dev and I want zero for liquidity. I don't really advise to do liquidity. I think it's a bit of a waste of a tax. You can do zero tax if you want. It's totally up to you. Nowadays, it's better to do zero tax in my opinion. So we're going to do no max wallet, no max transaction. If you are fair launching or you don't want or you you've got very low LP, I would definitely advise to do a low max transaction and max wallet. So you can see here uh, we've indicated a fifteen dollar. It's estimating as how much it's going to cost. But actually, if we select the market, we've got a sixty cents here. So we're going to confirm. And what we can do now while our transaction is going through, we can click here, or you can copy your wallet over to here like so so we've copied our wallet so this is our transaction it's cost us 60 cents to go through now if you lose that transaction or you can't find it just put your wallet in click here and then we've got our contract address here which you can copy now leave this page open because we're going to need our contract address now we're going to add liquidity soon as liquidity is added the trading will start on this contract there's no way to stop and start so we're going to go to pancake swap you can add liquidity on any platform, but pancake swaps where everyone adds. Now click create pool. Now we've got a choice. We can use the old V2. We don't earn any fees. I would advise to use the infinity pool. And we're going to do a full range position here. Now what this does, it allows us to earn fees based on trading volume. So if someone buys, you earn BNB. And when someone sells, you basically earn your token. So we're going to import our wallet here and we understand sorry our token address and we're going to use bnb you can pretty much use anything but everyone just uses bnb so i'm going to go in with a fee level of 0.25 you can do lower it doesn't make much of a difference i would not go with one percent but it's up to you if you want that's the fee you're going to charge people to actually swap and you can see here common 0.01 so if you don't want to earn too much or you're not banking on a huge amount of volume i would definitely do that so we're going to do starting price now we're going to set our starting price very low and we're going to do click make sure you click full range for this your first pull when you initiate it you must do full range yeah and that just means that the frog and the bnb will be pretty much equal amounts as people are trading so now if we click here this will indicate how much our market cap is. 10 BNB is $10,000. We don't have that, so we're going to add some zeros. Now, you do this to indicate where your market cap is going to be. This is, what, $100? So let's say we want to do even lower. We can go in with this amount. So we're going to enable our frog, and we're going to make sure it's exactly the same amount here. So let's just enable it, and then we're going to add liquidity. Now, after this trading will start so if you are looking to do a fair launch you can definitely pin your contract and say trading starting etc so it should be ten dollars worth of frog which we've set our price and we've got our bnb here so now we're just going to go over to my positions and we'll leave that open now we're going to open and test the trade it's always good to do a test trade or before you actually do a proper launch Test out your contract, test out how you're doing everything. So let's see here. Let's just connect the wallet once again. 
and now we're going to do a test trade. Now, bear in mind, we put a very, very low amount of liquidity. So we're going to have to do such a small buy in order for it to actually show. So now we're going to buy here. And it's going to give us an indication of everything. And then we'll just do one more for the sake of it. Let's do just slightly more. And then we should be able to see our contract showing up on deck screener. So we've got our frog position here and we added our liquidity into here. So someone has managed, someone has brought $50. I don't know why, that's totally up to them. Now the interesting part is if we go to a position here, what we'll see here is we have fees unclaimed and notice the frog position will stay the same. Yeah, so people can buy and sell. We've set our initial price. The price won't drop below here. And then we've got people can buy and sell and trade and do stuff from there. So from here, we've got our fees. Now this is permanent. For the duration of your project, you can collect the fees here. So again, there's been another buy, I guess, someone's brought in and we've got our fee here. This is really important because if you're doing zero tax, which is really good, you can still earn the fees on here. And this is the important part. Now, let's say we've launched, we've let everyone buy, or you know, you're gonna start shilling it around. What you wanna do is head over and copy your contract here. Now, we're not gonna, we're gonna touch on how to actually, um, I'll show you the contract first, and then we'll go in and we'll show you how to lock liquidity as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to write. Now, we launch it will automatically, um, it will automatically verify your contract. So if you'd like to renounce, click right. Now I would assume if you've got a max wallet, I would definitely put your max wallet up. Um, and that's basically putting everything in here and then just doing 18, 100 and everything is 18, zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that will put up a hundred percent. If you wanted to do, and you'll just write that contract, if you wanted to do 10% max wallet or 1%, you would take off two zeros. So you got a one and then, sorry, a one and then 18 zeros. Everything is 18 zeros. Same with the tax. Let's say we want a lower tax. You would just do, that would be 100% tax, which you wouldn't be able to do, but that can be a 1% tax. One and 18 zeros. That's how everything works with the LP, the dev tax, everything works like that in the contract. So just remember that and you'll be fine. And if you want to exclude a contract from tax, let's say it's a staking contract, you will just input the contract in here, whatever it is, and then you'll click true. True basically means yes and false if you want to switch it off is like that. So if you want to do a big buy or something like that, you can do it. And there's nothing else to do. This is just um, what the contract swaps through. There's nothing else to actually do. Transfer a contract if you want to send it to a different wallet. That's ownership of the contract. But that's pretty much it. Simplistically, you can change the market and wallet if you want. And I think there's one for dev tax as well. There's nothing more to actually do in terms of altering your contract. Make sure if you do renounce, please put your max wallet up and your max transaction up to 100%. I would advise that just because later on there might be some issues or if you're trying to pull LP, PancakeSwap is excluded, but if there's LP somewhere else, LP can get trapped and it takes ages to pull it out. So just bear in mind doing that or if you, it goes really well and you want to list somewhere and you need to send supply, do that. A bit of advice as well, always keep supply back, even if it's 1%, 5%, always keep it back because you never know what might happen and you might move out from there. So our contract is still live. This is our LP contract. So we can click here and we should be able to see our liquidity pool. So I think if you copy this onto pink cell, we'll be able to do that. Or we can just copy this, I think. It usually confuses me. So here is the LP tokens and we can call it frog lock. And all we've done is copy the contract address here, and that's our LP tokens right there. 
So it should be in our wallet, I believe, if we can have an indication of it. So these are our, they should have sent us our LP tokens. Possibly these are it. But anyway, so we can lock our token here. And you can use Mudra as well, but it's up to you how long you want to lock it for and stuff like that. And you just click and then you just approve it. My bad. I've put it somewhere in the past. Let's say like we're going to lock it here. And then you'll just approve it and lock it from there. This is free to use. It's audited, etc. It's pretty well now. You can use Mudra or any other platform, but this is free. You might as well use it and you can extend the lock as you go along. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful. I wish you all the best in your launch and take care.